well to part number nine of my kind of darts checkout. In part number nine, we're going to discuss checkouts between 141 and 150. We're now getting into the thrilling checkouts you'd see in matches. So let's start talking about 141 checkout first. You'd normally see this at the end of a nine dart leg. And I prefer the usual method from this, which players generally go, which is treble 20 for treble 19 or double 12. However, you can do a couple of different methods. You can go for treble 20, you can go for treble 15 for double 18, or you can go for treble 20, treble 17 for double 15. However, John Lowe, when he hit his first nine data, he went treble 17, treble 18 for double 18. But I like the usual method in this one, which is a little bit boring. The next checkout, however, we're going to go away from that boring list, 142 checkout. I'm going to go for the new school method for 142 checkout. I'm going to go for treble 17, treble 17 for double 20. The old school method is to go for the treble 20 route. If you hit the treble 20, you give yourself a couple of options which you can go for. You can either go for the bullseye for double 16 or treble 14 for double 20. But I like the new school counting from 142 if you go the treble 17 route. Really seen Simon Whitlock do that first and Paul Nicholson. He was a great advocate of the treble 17 route from 142 and I like that method of counting. The next checkout we're going to discuss is 143 checkout. Now for me, I would go for the treble 20, the treble 17 and the double 16. Again, it's quite a simplistic checkout. It's not one where you, there's lots of different methods you can go for, but I like to keep it simple with 143 checkout. The next checkout, however, is 144 checkout, and there's a couple of ways which you can go for this checkout. And I'm going to say to go the treble 18, treble 18 for the double 18. That's my preferred option from this checkout. I like that way because you're staying in the same part of the board. The other way you can go is the treble 20 route, which if you hit treble 20, treble 20, you leave double 12, or treble 20, treble 16 for double 18. That's a couple of options you've got from 144. The next checkout is 145 checkout. That's a very, very difficult checkout to hit, but I think it's a simplistic checkout in which ways you can go. I would personally go for treble 20, treble 15, and double 20. This was a shot that James Richardson really perfected when he beat Raymond Van Barnville in the World Championships. However, your second that you can go for the treble 19 to leave double 14. The next checkout we're going to discuss is the 146 checkout. And again, there's an old school versus new school counting in this. So you can either go for the treble 20, then the treble 18 for double 16, or you can go for two treble 19s for the double 16. I prefer the two treble 19s for double 16 on this checkout. The next checkout we're going to discuss in this video is 147 checkout. And there's a couple of ways which you can go for this. I'm going to go for a different method than what's going to be on checkout cards. I'm going to go for the treble 19 route. If you hit the treble 19, you leave 90 left and it gives you a couple of options. You can go for bull for double 20 or you can go for treble 18 for double 18 or treble 20 for double 15. But I like the treble 18, double 18 route with 90 left with two darts in hand. It all depends on what your opponent's on as well. But the new old school method, the old school method from 147 is treble 20 for treble 17 for double 18. And we almost saw Phil Taylor hit that against James Wade for his third nine dart in the Premier League final back in 2010. So the next checkout we're going to discuss is the 148 checkout. And again, I personally, my first start, we'll go for the treble 20. And then you can have a little bit of variations after that. You can either go treble 20 for double 14 or treble 16 for double 20. That's a couple of methods which you can go for. But I'm going to go for the treble 20, treble 20, double 14. Because if the lie's good, you can then follow up by another dart and then leave the double 14, which is becoming more and more popular. The penultimate checkout we're going to discuss in this video is 149 checkout. And again, we keep this very, very simplistic in this checkout. I would go for treble 20, treble 19 for double 16. I don't think there's many other options to go for, but let's just keep it simple with this checkout. So the last checkout we're going to discuss in this video is the 150 checkout. Now there's plenty of ways in which you can go for this 150 checkout, but I'm going to keep it quite simplistic on the way I'm going to go for is treble 20, treble 18 for double 18. 
If you want to have another way, if you think the treble 20 is lying quite good, you go for another treble 20 for double 15. Or if you're feeling bold, you just throw your first at the bill. If you hit the bill, you have 100 left and you go treble 20 for double 20. Or you can go for three bills if it's an exhibition game you're in. But my preferred method for 150 is treble 20, treble 18 for double 18. So that's me came at the end of part number 9. Part number 10 should be uploaded tomorrow. Until then, I'll see you then. Goodbye.